Yeah, man. <clears throat> so if you're if you're a man of the Lord, man, you you can you, you think that you're you're, you're going to be hopeful to let the certain requirements that you have to go by and that you have to follow. All right. He said he was outside. So Zechariah chapter fourteen verse nine it says, "And the Lord shall be king over all the earth." In that day shall there be one Lord and his name one. That's right, man. So if you're a man of the Lord, man, because you got guys, man, that come out and, and cheats all different type of names. Like you got um, you know, they they think that the Lord can be called by any name, man. When the name of the Lord says so be one Lord, and his name is Yahweh, man. Alright? And the and the son's name is Yahweh Shai. So that's that's the requirement of being part of part of your life. You have to know the name of the Lord, and He's going to give you His name. All right, He's just not going to give it to anybody because you got dudes saying yeah, Yahweh, Yeshua. You know they call Him God. <laughs> yeah, like you got this dude. Um, you know, he, he has some pretty, uh, I guess, informative videos if you want to say that as far as bringing out current events. Or whatever, but it's this guy, uh, I think his channel is called True Fun Bill 77. We just talking about it. This dude, he, uh, you know, he, the one video I seen, he basically made a video basically uh, alluding to the fact that the Israelites were dark skinned and all this, but it's like he wasn't bold enough to come out and say it like how we say it, you know what I mean? It's like he hinted around to it. And then, you know, he makes videos saying that the name of the Most High is Yahuwah and the name of the Most High Son is Yahushua or something like that. And it's just like, you know, when you just, it's like that, you know, the word, you know, the, the Most High's name, Yahweh, is broken down into four characters, Yahweh. So how do you get, how do you, there's no O, there's no U in the Hebrew alphabet. He was saying like, you know, the, uh, I mean, it, it just didn't make any sense, but it's like, if you know the basics of Hebrew, it would all make sense, you know what I'm saying? It, it don't, you know, these people's philosophies and shit, it don't make no sense. You know, basic stuff. You know what I'm saying? Right. Matter of fact, that's so, so, so the only thing that you can conclude is that he's either real stupid or he's like paid off or something like that. And a lot of those things are paid off, man, because of the get the the, the, the bend up the truth, and turn it to a lie. You have to know the truth, man. And like a lot of these dudes, like we said, man, they get paid off, man. Uh, and why they get paid off? You know, to be stumbling blocks. All right. That's why you have to know the uh, the Hebrew man, because uh, Esau is cunning enough to give you this three three four guys the Y H W H. But if you know the Hebrew, then then you're able to to, to uh, you know cut, put the other characters in there. You know? There's uh, this is the book of Revelations, chapter 14 and 12. It says, here is the patience of the saints. Here are, the, here are they that keep commandments of the Most High and the faith of Yahweh Shah. Yeah, so this is the uh, this is the patience. And the word patience basically means enduring affliction. So it's, you know, it's all, all kinds of stuff that we got to go through. And in the end, you know, we're, Lord willing, we're the elect, we're the men of the Most High, we're going to receive salvation. So it says, read one more time. All right, this is the book of Revelations, chapter 14 and 12. It says, here is the patience of the saints. Here are they that kept the commandments of the Most High and the faith of Yahweh Shah. Yeah, we keep, we keep the commandments, we rehearse the commandments to the best of our ability, and we keep the faith of Yahweh Shah as it was uh, delivered to, uh, you know, his apostles and delivered to our elders and, uh, you know, um, the prophets that are on the highways of our ways, you know what I'm saying? But you got a lot of dudes that don't even believe that your house size exists, man. You know? And they teach that, man. Like, you got dudes, man. I remember when I first, first, first started hearing that I was an Israelite. It was just these one guys, man. I'm glad the Lord ain't allow me to uh, uh, come to their little meetings or whatever. You know, but they they, they, they didn't teach, they didn't believe in the um, New Testament. Man. So if you don't believe in the New Testament, you definitely don't believe in your house You don't have the faith in your house That he is the mediator, man. 
Yeah, I mean, it just don't make any sense. Like, it's over. I remember one time I tried to look it up. It's like over 300 prophecies in the Old Testament that basically alluded to, you know, how it's shy and all that. You know, when you look at the, uh, the new uh, covenants and all that stuff, man, it's, it's like under now. Like, yeah. 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 Oh, man. Yeah, kind of right. like, 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 he said, like, the uh, it's a lot of. <laughs> um, Prophecies in the Old Testament coming to, talking about Yahweh Shah, man. That's why when he was on the scene, he told the, the, the dudes that that prophecy was talking about him. They looked at him like he was crazy, man. Why? Because they wasn't supposed to get that message at that time. It never was intended for them to get. The same way that in this time, it's not intended for you dudes to get this message. All right? Like when they say he was cutting, it would be the branch of Jesse. You know, that branch he was talking about is Yahweh Shah. Yeah, man. So you got the the, the B. You know, if, if if you're a hopeful elect, man, you're gonna know these things, man. All right, and you're not gonna deny them. You're gonna come out here professing. All right. All right. This is uh this is Isaiah 61. You know, Isaiah was uh, one of the major prophets that uh, prophesied to the nation of Israel. Um, all right. Uh, it's, uh, it's Isaiah 61 and one. It says, the spirit of the Lord power is upon me because the Lord have anointed me. And, uh, and you know, Hamashiach uh, basically means, uh, you know, anointed. anointed. Yeah. So that's, that's, you know that's talking about how shy yeah. you have any spiritual understanding. It says. Uh, oh, sorry. Because matter of fact, that's what they started calling him when he was walking, man. They started calling him Christ, but Hamashiach, meaning the anointed one, man, like the brother just said. Yeah, it says the spirit of the Lord power is upon me because the Lord have anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek. In the word, you know, good tidings is talking about the gospel. That's what the uh, gospel means, good tidings. And to the meek is talking about the nation of Israel because like when you look that word meek up, it basically means like needy. You know what I'm saying? We're needy because we're under the curses. We're being oppressed. We need a savior to redeem us. Just like how we read, you know, in the curses earlier, about how um, you know we're gonna be oppressed. No man was gonna buy us. Nobody would save us. You know, so that's why we need a Messiah or somebody that's anointed, set up by the Most High to basically our uh, deeds. None of these other dudes are set up, man. And furthermore, like that's how you know you have understand. You will understand that these things is leading up to your house size coming here, man. You know, when he came on the scene back back in the ancient time, and he's also coming back. So they knew that he was coming. Isaiah prophesied about your house shot coming. John the Baptist prophesied about your house shot coming, man. You know? Yo, y'all made your way over with me. Right? All, 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 all prophesied about your house shot coming until he came. The same way we're out here doing today, man. Prophesying about him coming. People still, and to this day, they're, they're in the same mindset that they was in, in, in the uh, ancient world, man. What right. says. It says he has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and the opening of the prison to them that are bound. Right, man. The captives, man. Who, who, are, who are captives right now? We are. You know? We're captives, man. We were taken captive over there in Western Africa and brought over here. For the child of, uh, what's that? The, uh, Judah, Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. You know? He had uh, Gaddams already here, man. But they were taking captives too, you know, in the, in the land that was there, but that they were uh, buying them before, you know. So yeah, this talking about it's talking to us, the same way we coming out here talking to y'all, man. Right? Says to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our power to comfort all that mourn. That's right, man. So that's talking about the day of the Lord was coming. Like he came, he came back in that time. The comfort the, the, those men that he told, the, the 12, the 12 he was walking with. Right? He gave them the word, man. Told them to go out and teach them. You know? So he's going to come back the second time, all right, to deliver us. But this time, once he delivers us, man, we're not going back in the captivity. All right? We're going to be ruling forever and ever and ever, man. All right? So it, it's, it's like, that's what we're out here preaching now, that the Lord has come back to deliver us, man. To take us out of this captivity, which the scriptures say over and over and over again. All right. 
But, but people don't believe that, man. You got, matter of fact, you got a dude, man. We be talking about this, man. You talk about that, that the Lord was a sky fairy and all that, man. Of course, it was an Edomite said that shit. You know? But you got to hear hear things like that and knowing that Yahweh, why Yahweh Shah is real, man. But to endure things like that, man, that, that's that's also patience, man. Because you, you be really wanting to put your hands on some of these guys, man. The statements that come out of their mouth, man. But you have to be in the spirit like Yahweh Shah was when he was here. And what, what did he do, man? He even put he, he put his enemy's ear back on his ear, man, or on his head when Peter chopped it up. You know? And he had the power to, to, to completely annihilate them dudes. What he had to do, he had to be humble, he had to be patient. The same way we out here being patient, teaching this truth, man. You know? It's, uh, it's uh, Jeremiah chapter 31, it's about 31 and 31. <clears throat> it says, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel with the house of Judah, not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day that I took them by the hand to bring them out of the land of Egypt, which my covenant they break, although I was a husband unto them, saith the Lord. God, so what's that new covenant is talking about? Does that mean that the Lord is going to come and change every word that's written in this Bible, man? No, that new covenant is the old covenant. Right, he's just going to write it on your on your, on your hearts, on your inner hearts, man, your mind. It says, "But this shall be the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel. After those days, says the Lord, I will put my law in their inward parts and write it in their hearts, and will be their power, and they shall be my people, and they shall teach no more every man his neighbor and every man his brother, saying, Know the Lord, for they shall all know me from the from." The least of them unto the greatest of them, saith the Lord, for I will forgive their iniquity and I will remember their sin no more. That's right, man. So what's that? That, that basically told you, man, because back that back in the old time, they he wrote the laws on, on a stone. That wasn't the end with Parson. Plus, he gave, he gave us these bodies that are corruptible, man. These bodies that were innocent, susceptible to go off. All right? And you know, once he gave us some laws, we wasn't going to be able to follow him to the T to the to, to 100%. All right? You knew that we wasn't going to be able to follow the laws to the T, man. All right? So now when you talk about the new commandment, the new, the new, the new commandments, that's talking about your inward parts, like the scriptures just said. You know? That's exactly what that's talking about. <laughs> yeah, man. Oh, you had the guy just now just walk past his AR rap. He was an underground rapper in Philadelphia. You know? But he signed a he signed a contract with the um Yeah, it was a uh, uh, big big big. When that dude's a a a a um open yeah, it kind of open uh, open on him or such. You know? That's why I say our people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. You look at all the dudes that's walking with him, man. And not one of them, well, just one looked over here to try to hear what we were talking about. And then this dude walking with his pants hanging all the way off his ass. <laughs> yeah, kind of fat ass stomach and all that, man. Yeah. Got on <laughs> fat ass nigga with skinny jeans on, man. That's crazy. That's his time. But I mean that that makes sense because you know he, he sold they had to give that booty for that deal, man. Oh, that was a big deal. Oh, yeah, yeah. Kind of, he, had to, <laughs> he had to give that booty for that deal, man. So him him sagging makes perfect sense, man. You know? But yeah, man, I thought that, that was just you know topic. I just wanted to. But yeah, man. Yeah, so that new covenant, man, is talking about your mind, man. So once he, once he puts that new covenant, which is the old covenant, man, that means you're never going to be able to go off again. Man. And the Lord's going to forget about all your sins. Man. You know? When he puts that in your mind, you're never going to go off. Just as soon as you wake up in the morning, you know, that's how you're going to be able to follow God's and commandments. You're going to know when the Sabbaths are. You're going to, you're going to, um, um, follow, follow, uh, 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 
all the high holy days, you're going to be able to do that perfectly. You know? That's why it says you won't go off again. We won't be in the same condition that we're in, man. We ain't never going to come back to this condition once the Lord, once the Lord puts that new covenant in our head, man. Which is the same covenant. But you have people that are out here that actually teach that it's going to be a whole different covenant. You know? That's because people, they, they have no understanding. Furthermore, the Lord ain't give it to them, man. Just like you have new moons, man. Did that mean that that old moon fell out the sky and a new one went back up there? No. That's just a cycle in the phase that it went through. All right? It's a cycle in the phase that it went through. Excuse me. Excuse me. Like, man, that's, that's, that's a nigga. But yeah, he, he want to be on camera so that, you know, when the Lord uh, destroys his ass, you know, he walked through, through, through. I hope I hope an angel jumped on his ass, man. And torment his ass. Uh, Proverbs 10 and 13. It says, in the lips of him that have understanding, wisdom is found. That's right. For the rod is for the back of him that is void of understanding. That's right, man. What's that rod? What's the rod now, man? Esau, man. Esau is that rod now for you dudes that don't have any understanding. Because every time you go off, that's that's why Esau is here right now, man. He, he's the Lord's correcting stick right now, man. Wisdom is found in the men of, of understanding. So we out here giving you wisdom. How are we doing that? Through the scriptures, man. Teaching you who you are. So if you know who you are and everything, the way it's supposed to conduct itself, you're not going to go out here and go off so so that, that, that you can get that rod of correction. And the ultimate rod of correction is Yahweh Bashim Yahushua, man. Because he'll put the spirit on, on, on the other nations to come come deal with you, man. For doing dumb stuff, man. You know? That's why when, when our people, man, they get up. Like our people, man, when, when they when they uh, go off, do dumb stuff, you know? They get in jail or, or, or in, in the, in the, uh, in the Edomite. Cause that's the ones that's doing it. They they check your ass. Man. That's a rod of correction, man. Dumb man. These niggas, man. That's 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 the mentality of our people, man. And you know what? She want to be carried off like this, the nigga woman, man. She's being right now. She's being raped, taken by force, man. Good cut, right? Good cut. Right now, this woman. Nah, y'all don't think so. Right? But she's she too far away, man. But yeah, man. This guy got the woman over his shoulder walking with her like she's a rag dog. And you don't hear her screaming and hollering, man. She like that shit. You know? What you hear her screaming now is he playing with her like he's going to get, get a hit by a car. But that's the definition of rape right there. She's being taken by force. There's nothing sexual, sexual about that. Man. But you got dudes that can't even get that simple thing. I was talking to this dude online, man, from uh, IUIC. Nah, Salak, ISUBK talking about some, man, you guys are child molesters. Listen, I'm like, yo, man, first of all, you bearing false witness. Because every child molesters, tongue, uh, 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 show proof of that, man. Show the, ch the children that we molested. Or anybody in that that's in, that's following the doctors of GMS, man, and stop making up this. You can't do it, man, because you guys are emotional, man, sensitive. 